solar photovoltaic rooftop systems emerge as a beacon of hope leading us towards more sustainable future with cost in a decline and supportive policies in place rooftop solar systems witnessed a remarkable surge in recent year globally offering accessible reliable and affordable electricity options especially crucial for developing nations for their houses and businesses rooftop solarization rooftop solar pv systems are pivotal in achieving the net zero target rooftop solar pv stands at the forefront of the broader solar pv landscape presenting a decentralized approach to energy generation whether embraced by individual homeowners or large industrial complexes this technology brings undeniable benefits to the table when sunlight hits the solar photovoltaic pv modules they convert the light energy into electrical energy that can power your home solar pv systems are connected to the grid allowing you to draw electricity from either the pv systems or the utility company's grid ensuring consistent power performance for your home the direct current produced by the pv system is routed through an inverter this inverter converts dc current into alternating current which is the standard type of electricity used in homes to power appliances such as lights fans TV refrigerator and air conditioners modern inverters come equipped with tracking software and meters allowing you to monitor your system's electricity generation on a daily monthly and yearly basis as well as track its performance during the day if the electricity generated from the pv system exceeds your consumption the excess electricity is fed back to the grid through a process known as net metering Bidirectional meters record the units of electricity exported to the grid. In addition to the reducing your electricity bill, if you export more electricity than you consume, you can earn money from the utility company at a rate determined by the Electricity Regulation Commission. This surplus electricity generation generates revenue. Conversely, if you use more electricity than your system generates at night, you will consume electricity from the grid under the net metering mechanism your monthly bill from the utility company will be based on the net export or net import of electricity not only does rooftop solar provide a clean energy but it also makes significant financial benefits by slashing electricity bill and ensuring the cost savings for long term this empowers both individuals commercial and industrial businesses while fostering energy independence estimates suggest that rooftop solar has a potential to meet 30 to 40% of the world energy needs nations worldwide are rapidly adopting rooftop solar with the 2022 witnessing these installations accounting for nearly half of all new solar capacity added globally projections point to further growth ahead with the rooftop sector expected to reach a 268 gigawatt by 2027 yet the significance of rooftop solar transcends environmental and economical boundaries it stands as a pivotal component of any nation's energy strategy leveraging existing infrastructure and curbing transmission's losses to deliver power precisely where it's needed in our journey towards a sustainable future rooftop solar shines brightly guiding us towards cleaner and more resilient energy systems for generations to come in india where rooftop soak up abundant sunlight there is a immense potential of solar energy generation the council on energy environment and water states that more than 250 million households in india could benefit from solar energy representing a staggering 637 gigawatt of technically potential considering the corresponding household electricity demands there is a potential of 118 gigawatt additionally the economic viability is estimated at 1 or 2 gigawatt with current consumer willingness to pay indicating achievable capacity of 11 gigawatt government of india has set an ambitious target of achieving 40 gigawatt of solar rooftop power generation by 2026 spanning both residential and commercial industrial segments 
Subsidies are being provided especially for home installations ranging from 1 kW to 10 kW. However, despite of this promising opportunity, there are significant challenges also. The adoption of rooftop solar power in India has been slow due to consumers' uncertainty about investment returns and payback periods, as well as technical and financial feasibility, availability of suitable rooftops, grid integration, complex regulatory procedures. Currently, only about 2.7 gigawatt of solar has been installed in residential areas, with approximately 7 lakh households across India having embraced solar energy. But with over 250 million households nationwide, there is still a long way to go. To address these challenges, government has introduced incentive programs. Unfortunately, these programs faced implementation hurdles such as complex procedures, operational challenges, issues with the product quality, and the continuous evolution of technology. Additionally, some of the unreliable integrators have hindered the progress. The Ministry of New Renewable Energy had made a study in all the state nodal agencies and increased the incentive programs for the rooftop solar systems for houses. However, these efforts have not been entirely successful. Due to implementation challenges like cumbersome procedures and guidelines. Krishma is from the last one decade advocated and with the state nodal agency to the interest of the manufacturer's requirement and expectation and also Krishma is interacted with MNRE through the persistent efforts and collaboration with other state association we have influenced to policy makers to amend the procedures and guidelines. Solar manufacturers, dealers and installers across India have voiced out the concerns to the Government of India, Ministry of New Renewable Energy. Highlighting the issues such as the complexity of accessing incentives, in response the Ministry of New Renewable Energy has introduced measures to simplify the process including the creation of a users-friendly national portal for incentive applications and streamlined approval systems through state agencies. The government is actively working to address these challenges through policy reforms and technical innovations, streamlining approval process, introducing supportive regulations and enhancing grid infrastructure to sustain the growth momentum. Previously, subsidies were routed through nodal agencies and integrators causing delay and hindering accessibility for the end users. However, the input from various stakeholders including the Karnataka Renewable Energy System Manufacturers and Dealer Association MNRA has implemented changes to ensure subsidies reach beneficiary directly. This approach not only encourages greater adoption of solar power but also democratizes access to clean energy paving the way for a brighter and greener future for all. In the February 2024 interim budget, India renamed the scheme as Pradhana Mantri Surya Ghar Muft Bijli Yojana. Kripa welcomes 10 million household rooftop program announced by the Union Government of India, which is expected to provide about 30 gigawatt of electric power. And enhance the subsidy scheme to solarize the additional 1 crore houses. The proposed scheme will result in additional of 30 gigawatt of solar capacity through rooftop solar in the residential sector generating 1000 billion units of electricity and resulting in reduction of 720 million tons of carbon dioxide equivalent emissions over the 25 years lifetime of rooftop systems. It is estimated the scheme will create 17 lakh direct jobs in manufacturing, logistic, supply chain, sales, installation, o &M and other services. The scheme provides central financial assistance in the form of subsidy of a 30,000 rupees for 1 kilowatt systems, rupees 60,000 for 2 kilowatt systems, and rupees 78,000 for 3 kilowatt systems and above. Rupees 78,000 is fixed for more than 3 kilowatt up to 10 kilowatt. The total budget allocates an outlay of 75,021 crores for this purpose. To benefit from the Yojana, applicants can access information on a new official website pmsuryaghar.gov.in. Also, the application can be submitted in this portal. 
You can select a suitable vendor for installing rooftop solar under this portal. The national portal will assist the household in their decision making process by providing relevant information such as appropriate system sizes, benefits calculator, vendor ratings, etc. Households will be able to access collateral free low interest loan products of around 7% at present for installation of residential rooftop solar systems. This is available up to 3 kilowatt. The Ministry of New Renewable Energy will monitor the progress of the entire country through this portal. Efforts are also being made to make the portal available in all languages spoken in the country. The eligibility criteria for these schemes are residential status, applicant must be in Indian, property ownership, ownership of the property where the solar panels are to be installed may be required, the previous beneficiary priority may be given to those who have not previously benefited from the similar government solar energy scheme. For registration process, the household needs a few documents for verifications, applicant's Aadhaar card, mobile number, electricity bill, bank passport, passport size photo. All vendors and integrators are required to register on the national portal. An approval list of vendors and integrators will be made available to consumers area-wise. Domestic content requirement are mandatory for this program, ensuring the implementation of Atmanirbhar Bharat principles and strict tracking of component origin, thereby encouraging domestic manufacturer also. All these subsidies are on a DBT basis. DBT means directly beneficial transfer. So consumer has to first select the vendor, register at PM Surya Ghar. After the completion and after the completing all the process, the subsidy will be released directly in the account of consumers. That is the DBT. Consumer need to pay first full amount to EPC and then he will get subsidy in his account. The subsidy will be given directly to the beneficiary within 30 days after installation and uploading the DISCOM commissioning letter to the national portal. The investment as per this Yojana is uh, for 1 kilowatt, the cost of the system is rupees 50,000. The subsidy at 60% which is rupees 30,000. Balance rupees 20,000 can be availed as a soft loan. The number of units generated is approximately 1300 units to 1400 units in a year. For 2 kilowatt system, the cost of the system is rupees 1 lakh. The subsidy at 60%, which is rupees 60,000, balance rupees 40,000 can be availed as a soft loan. The number of units generated is approximately 2600 to 2800 units in a year. For 3 kilowatt the cost of the system is rupees 150000 the subsidy is rupees 78000 the balance rupees 72000 can be availed as a soft loan the number of units generated is approximately 3900 to 4200 units in a year there is no clarity about group housing societies updated guidelines for residential welfare associations group housing society and community houses like apartments are yet to be released by MNRE. The current guidelines only cover common area lighting, lifts, water pumps and club houses under the subsidy schemes excluding individual houses. The Karnataka Renewable Energy System Manufacturer and Dealer Association along with various state integrators associations have urged MNRE to consider including individual houses in housing and apartment societies under this scheme to benefit group housing consumers. However, the program has got a set of challenges also. Skilling is required for new entrepreneurs. Pan-India level quality standards to be impl implemented for the solar installations. There are some myths about solar rooftop systems. Solar rooftop systems does not work at rainy seasons and winter. Well, the fact is incorrect. Solar PV systems work whenever there is a light available while the generation efficiency may reduce slightly during period of low light intensity due to rain or clouds, they still generate electricity. Solar generation is unpredictable. The average generation varies depending on factors such as location, weather patterns and system efficiency. While an average of 1400 units per kilowatt per year is common in many parts of India. Solar rooftop system does not require maintenance systems do require relatively low maintenance a regular cleaning of solar panels to remove dust debris 
or bird dropping is essential to ensure optimal performance. Neglecting maintenance can lead to a decrease in energy production over a time. Going forward, there are a few innovative mechanisms expected to be introduced such as virtual net metering and peer-to-peer -peer trading using blockchain technology. This innovative approach signifies a paradigm shift empowering energy consumers with greater control over their energy transactions and fostering a more sustainable and decentralized energy landscape. Crismo is committed to working with the government to ensure the success of this program. Our aim to contribute the nation net zero and environmental conservation. Crismo is stands to ready assist consumers for any type of challenges on the national portal in selecting the reliable vendors for any installation. Together, let us make this program success. Together, let's harness the sun's boundless energy and illuminate wherever rooftop is a beacon of hope. Every household is steward of sustainability and every citizen is a champion of change. Join us as we embark on this transformative journey, harnessing the power of rooftop solar in our community and beyond.